Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm excited to get started and I hope that this would be a place that you guys could learn and grow and that it would just be helpful to you. So today we're gonna to be building a React Dark Theme Toggler and we're gonna be using the Styled Components library to help us accomplish that. And you don't really need to know anything about Styled Components. I'm gonna go through the basics and by the end of it, you should have a pretty good grasp. So let's get into it. All right, so I have the starter files open here and they're gonna be linked in the description below so you can pull them down and follow along. So to get started, we're gonna to wanna to first create a styled component and we need to import styled. And to create the component, we need to give it a name and we're just gonna change this uh, div wrapper to be a styled component. So we could do something like styled app equals styled dot and then you wanna do whatever element you're trying to style. So in our case, it's a div. So we'll do dot div, open up template strings, and within here, we could write any CSS. So in our case, we're just gonna copy over these styles, but make them actual CSS. So if we just delete this and remove this prop, and then to use the component, we need to just substitute it in like that. So now nothing should change in our app. and nothing did so next we're just going to create styled components for our h1 and our p tags so we'll just give our h1 a name and it's going to be an h1 there so open up the strings and we could just give it some margin and we see and then we need to change it down here save and that should get carried through we're going to do the same thing and call this one info and it's a p tag All right, so now that these are styled components, we could actually pass props through them and get access to them within the styling. So for example, we could pass a color equal to red. And then in our name component, could give it a color. And then to get access to the props, we could write a function that returns a value. And inside that function, we get the props. So whatever props we passed in down here, we can get through this parameter here. So we could do props.color and that should be red. So you could either hard code a value as we had before or create a function that returns that value. So now that we understand that, we could create our theme. So let's do const theme equals, and I'm just gonna paste some styles. Okay, so this is gonna be our theme and we need to import the theme provider. And what this is gonna do is basically wrap our entire app so that every child component inside here, like all of these, are gonna get this theme in their props. So this provider takes a theme prop and it's gonna be equal to our theme that we created here. So now that this wraps everything, we can get access to this theme within these components. So for example, we just get rid of that color we could go in here and we could do props.theme and that's going to be equal to this object and we want the title. So props.theme.title and that should turn white. And in our styled app, this background color, we don't want to hard code it. We want to get access to the theme again. So get props, get the theme and we want the body color. So that should give us a darker uh, color there. And now we're going to do the same thing for the info component, except we want the subtitle. Okay. So this is going to be our dark theme. And basically we could just pass in whatever theme object we want. And as it changes, all these components here are going to have those change values. So if we wanted to do, um, if we wanted to change a value here, like make this red, this is gonna change. And I don't have to change it anywhere inside the CSS, I just have to change it in the one theme. So now we're gonna create a second theme, uh, which is gonna be our light theme. So we could change this name to dark and we'll create a light theme. And it's basically just gonna be the inverse of our dark theme. Okay, so 
now if we pass the light theme in here, it goes back to light. And if we pass the dark theme in, it goes to dark. So now you can see whatever theme we pass in, it just changes all the styles. And we only have to change the one theme and we don't have to touch anything else in there. So right now we're just manually changing this and we want to store the theme in state. So we're going to use use state for that and it's going to be called theme and set theme. And we need to import that from React and the default will be light. So basically how this works is it gives you a, a variable to store the state in and then a function to update that state. And this value is just the default value. So um, right now it's going to start at light theme and we're going to create another variable is dark theme just to track whether our state is in light or dark. So we could just do um, equal to theme equals light. So this will just be a Boolean, either true or false, whether this theme here in our state is equal to light or dark. So uh, we actually want to make this dark. So now we could use this condition. So is dark theme and we'll do a ternary here. So if is dark theme is true, we're going to want to output the dark theme up here. Else we're going to do the light theme. So basically ternaries have a condition and if it's true, it outputs whatever is to the right of the question mark. And if it's false, it'll output this. So right now, dark theme is false because we have light here. But if we change this to dark, this will be true and it'll pass this dark theme. So now that our theme is handled by state, we need a way to update the theme. And the useState function gives us this parameter to update this state. So let's create a wrapper function like toggle theme. And this is just going to update our theme. So we can do, we're going to call set theme. And inside here, whatever we return inside these parens is what this theme gets updated to. So first we're going to check is dark theme. So we're going to check this value. If it's dark, we want to change it to light. And then if it wasn't dark, meaning it was light before, we want to change it to dark. So now, depending on whatever the previous theme was, it's going to set it to the opposite one. So we want to use this toggle theme on our switch because right now this switch doesn't change any state here. So we're going to want to pass this toggle theme to our switch icon and we'll just call it toggle theme. Okay, so now that we're passing that, we could go into the switch and destructure that in here from the props. And in here, we run this function every time that the toggle is hit. So this on toggle runs, and we're going to set that state here, whether it's toggled or not. And then we also want to update the theme. So we're just going to call it toggle theme. And it's just going to know to just change it to the opposite of what it was before. So if it was dark, it's going to change it to light. If it was light, it's going to change it to dark. So right now, the only problem we have is it starts at dark. It's on the dark theme, but this icon, it's showing that it's at the light. And that's because this state here is hard coded. So this toggle is always false, meaning it's always not toggled. So in order to link it up with our theme state, we need to pass this theme here, or this is dark theme prop here. So now in our switch, we're going to pass this piece of state. And this is, remember, it's either true or false, whether it's dark theme or not. And here, if it's toggled, it would mean that it's dark. So we just want to grab that prop that we pass is dark theme. And we want this to be toggled when it is dark. So now this is all linked up correctly. And that's kind of the, the basics of it. Um, there's a couple things I want to add and, and show you guys. So back here, I showed you that we got access to these props that were passed to the component when it was a styled component. Um, so we use it down here. But what if we had just a normal component like this sun icon, which is just an SVG, or it could just be any sort of HTML element that's not a styled component. And so the way that we could do that is we can call the use theme function. And what that basically does is just give us the current theme that the provider is using. So we could do const theme equals use theme. That's going to be from styled components. 
And now this theme is gonna be whatever the current one is. So instead of hard coding the color, we're gonna do theme dot icon. And right now this icon doesn't exist on any of our themes. If we go back here, we don't have that. So we're just gonna add that to our dark theme, call it icon. And now if we save that sun, now gets access to this icon property in the dark theme. And so that's one way is to just use the use theme hook. And that's probably the easiest, um, but there's one more, there's another way. And that is using the with theme function that is also from styled components. So we would just wrap our component when it's exported with this with theme function. And when we do this, it basically adds the theme to our custom components props. So we could just take in the props here and in the color, we just do props.theme again, and the icon, and we just need to add that here. And now this should get that value. And when I go to light theme, that should turn black. And when I go to dark, it should be this light gray. So those are the two ways. Those are probably the easiest two ways. There's more with using the context API, but these are probably the most common and best way to go about it. Now there's one last thing I want to do, and that's to change the background transition because right now it's just instantly changing and it's not really that smooth. So we're just going to add a simple transition on all properties and it's going to take a quarter of a second. So when we hit save, this should now animate and this looks a lot nicer and, and smoother. So that's pretty much it for this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next or any questions you have. And I'll see you guys in the next one.